So this is Erisema tri phylum Erisema triphylum, otherwise known as Jack in the pulpit. Jack in the pulpit. We're gonna lift this spathe up. We're gonna lift this spathe up. So this is in the same family as skunk cabbage. It's called Jack in the pulpit because uh, there's Jack and he's in the pulpit. See that thing sticking up? This is actually a female, a female um, uh, Jill in the puppet. If we want to, if we want to call it anything, uh, I like to call this the most woke woodland wildflower, just for fun. Um, so it it uh, changes its gender and or its sex annually. So <clears throat> one year it could just be a female. Next year this could come up and it's just a male. And then uh, the next year it could just be you know sterile like this guy, girl, it. Anyway, so one of the cool things about this, so first off, let's let's talk about some of the morphology here. This can go up to, you know, um, a foot to two feet tall, a foot to two feet tall. Uh, it's clonal, so it grows underground rhizomes, it can. Uh, you know, it has these trifoliate compound leaves, thus the name uh, triphylum, triphylum. Um, it's, uh, it's usually got two, if we back up here, it usually has, females usually have two leaves, males have one. Uh, sterile uh, leaves have one, so this is a female again. So right away you see the two leaf the two leaves coming up, and you're like, cool, this is a uh, female. And so uh, this is one of the things I want to show you here. This is called a spathe. So a spathe. So in the Araceae. So again, this is in the same family as uh, as skunk cabbage, as things like your peace lily that you get on on Easter or whatever. Uh, but this spathe, this spathe is a is a modified bract structure that covers up a spadex. And this is the spadex. And a spadex is a spike, a spike technically is an inflorescence, so a flower head that has its flowers directly attached to the stem. So it's a spike. So a spadex is an inflated uh, spike. So see how inflated this is? And you see that in the, in the uh, Eraceae uh, family oftentimes like the calla lilies and such. Uh, what's cool though is the, the female spathe, which we see here, and we'll find some males here too. I think I passed one running over to this one. The female spathe, if we can get it here, you look, and it's not, it's not gonna probably, I'm gonna have to back up here, but if you look at the bottom, there's no hole down there. There's no, there's, in the male spathe, there's a little hole right here, and I'll show you in a minute what that looks like. In the female, so if you're an insect, you're flying into the spathe, and, and it kind of stinks the flowers do. So the flowers are down here. The flowers are down here. So there's the spathe and the flowers are hidden down here. And so you're a, you're a, a gnat or you're a fly and you smell this kind of stinky things, the stinky flesh-like. So you fly down into the spathe and you buzz around in there. And if you're a male flower, it's like, oh no, I can't get on. There's a little hole. They're like, okay, we can get out of that little hole. But now on the females, they get down there and guess what? There's no little hole. So uh, it ensures pollination. It ensures pollination. So let's let's take a look here too at this. Um, well, yeah. So the the flowers are small too, by the way. Maybe we'll find one that's ripped open. But yeah, there is. Let's back out here. So there is. Uh, they call it commonly Jack in the pulpit, Erisema triphylum. Again, triphylum uh, because of the three leaves, the three-parted leaf. So so here's a male flower. Here's a male flower. Um, so this is a male flowering sp uh, spike. And if you look here, if you can see this, let's see if we can't get it to stick right there. See that little hole right there? That's a little hole that the, the gnats can climb out of. It's small, but it's an exit, you know? And if we zoom out, there's just the one leaf, just the one leaf, trifoliate leaf right here. Just one leaf, and this is the male flower. So the again, the the boy flowers are just down here. You know, they lack kind of that the petals, um, and uh, yeah, they don't need to be showy, just stinky. Mm -hmm.